Hey everybody, it's Batman. That's right, crime fighter Batman, keeping you all safe. I got some things that are bothering me. I've been sitting here, drinking my milk, thinking about all these things that have been bugging me. No, it's not the Joker, or the Penguin, or the Riddler, or who would win in a fight, Batman or Iron Man, Batman or Darth Vader, Batman or Predator, Batman or Wolverine. No, I can handle all that. I'm pretty good with my Dukes, you know? No, you know what bothers me? I tell you, one of the things that really bothers me is that I live in a cave. I had this idea. I was going to scare everybody. Be a Batman living in a cave, coming out there. But you know, caves smell. You know what lives in caves? Bats. Yeah, bats. Flopping all around making guano everywhere. It smells. It's disgusting. Sure, you can make jewelry or pottery or you can cook with it, but it just sticks all the time. I got the back computer in there. I got to do my work in there. Guano all the time. That's just one of my beefs, you know? The other thing is Alfred. Alfred made me this suit. Yeah, the pecs are massive, the abs are ripped, but you know, it's the legs. The outfit makes it look like I don't lift with my legs. I don't know if Alfred did that on purpose, you know, some kind of joke. I do squats with 500 pounds, jump and lunges with you know, 60 pound dumbbells in each hand, deadlifts to a blue in the face. But look at this. It's terrible. They're so baggy. You know what the criminals say when they see me? They go, hey, look at the bat with chicken legs. Think I like hearing that? It's embarrassing. I'm supposed to scare them, strike fear into their hearts. A bat man. Not a chicken legs, Batman. So I'm gonna have to take care of that. You know what else? Batman doesn't like getting wet, but I got this cycle, bat cycle. It's got two wheels. You know what the problem with two wheels is? They fall over a lot. I'm tired of scraping up my elbows and my knees. So I got to thinking. When I was doing that car show, that 83rd annual car show, and those other bat guys were there, they had these mobiles. You know, not like the mobile where baby lays in the crib and plays. No. Nah. They got these jet cars. They call them bat mobiles. So I was thinking, maybe that's what I need, you know? Something to keep the rain out of my face. You know. In the, on, on the back cycle and I got the goggles and the rain is getting in my face and I, I can't see and I go to throw the batarang and I miss or I go and shoot the harpoon and try to pull myself up somewhere and I miss more embarrassment so maybe if I had a batmobile you know and it was scary though That would be really effective and I could stay dry. So, I've been working in my lab, drinking my milk, coming up with a lot of designs for Batmobiles. We're going to test them out. We're going to find out which is the fastest Batmobile design. And then, I'll have my Batmobile jet car, right? Then I'll be able to enjoy, once again, drinking my milk.
milk does the body good, right? Boom. All right. So I'll see you soon with my Batmobile design. All right, everybody, so I'm back, and here's all my various designs for Batmobiles. There's 16 of them. We're going to find out which one is the fastest. All right, so I've got him set up on the racetrack. This is highly scientific. All right, ready? Everything's calibrated. Winner, lane six. All right, that simplifies things a bit. So now we're going to take the winner of the previous race, this Batmobile here, looks a bit familiar, and we're going to put it up against these designs right here. All right, now here we go. Winner, six. All right, it wins again. All right, so... The Batmobile that won again last time is going to go up against these designs. Now one of the vehicles was having a bit of a problem with its fuel injectors. So I'm going to have to work on that and leave it out of the race. We're going to find out which one's the fastest right now. Here we go. Winner! Lane six! Well... It looks like this is the fastest Batmobile so far. Now once I work on those fuel injectors, get that working, I have one more test to find out which is the fastest Batmobile. Okay, so I've got that Batmobile's fuel injectors repaired now. So we're gonna take it to the test track and see how it does. Very fast. Let's give it another shot. Quite fast. All right, let's test our previous winner. Okay, so we're gonna test our grand winner and see how it does on the track. Oh, not so good. I think we should try that again. Well, clearly we're going to have to go with this Batmobile. I can't be going through loops and suddenly falling. So let me tell you a little something about this Batmobile here. This is radio controlled. You plug it in here to the remote, you see. The remote takes four AA batteries. And here's your charger. Turn the switch to off, and then you plug it in, all right, and that charges up the car. And you push this to go forward, and then this to steer. Now, the way this vehicle steers, it actually doesn't have wheels in the front that steer. What it does is it reverses the front and back wheel to steer. See how that, I move the remote. It steers from the back, okay? But it also has a trim level. Now, the trim level buttons here, what they do is they're fine tuning. So when you get the car out of the package and you go and you make you go and race it straight, if it doesn't go straight, you hit these buttons here to adjust it so that it goes straight. It's really amazing that such a tiny radio control car like this actually has a trim level. It also has a turbo button on the top which makes it go about twice as fast. Now, going around that track, I didn't even have to use the turbo button. In fact, if I do hit the turbo button, it often will fly off the track. So it's an excellent car. You can get it for about $22.99.
and it's a lot of fun. Uh, the lithium battery technology I assume that it has is much better than the Zip Zap cars. If you'll remember in one of the other uh, episodes, I showed you the small yellow Lamborghini RC car that also would work on the track, but it is nowhere near as fast as this. So uh, I you know, think that you'd have a lot of fun with the track and one of these RC cars. The other thing, racing it on the ground, all right, if you have like lint or dog hairs in your home, they're going to get caught in the wheels and that's going to cause a problem. So another reason to probably play with it more on the track. Uh, all right, so uh, that is our winning Batmobile. And uh, now I can really uh, go and chase down those criminals. Joker, Riddler, Penguin, Two-Face, beware. <laughs>